Rob, um, first of all, your reflections on your summer away with England, you always said Chiefs was a priority. What have you taken from that? Do you think back to what your, your time at the start of the season with the Chiefs? Oh, quite a few things. I mean, obviously, you know, it's great to work with a, a different group of players and, and obviously that challenges you in a way about how you interact with them. And I think I learned that a little bit from the other coaches as well in the way they are interacting with the players and definitely learned one or two things there that have come back into Chiefs pre-season. And, uh, and we're looking forward to the start of the season. A lot of your young players are away with England of the 20s um, while you're away with England. How excited are you about those players and how they secure the future of the Chiefs? There was four yeah. significant members of that side. Um, were a huge part of the win. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously fantastic to see, you know, the academy set up working so well. I think with those four lads, obviously great to see how well they did uh, in the England of 20 side. Great, as you say, to see the involvements they had. Um, but I think at the same time, we've still got to be a little bit patient because obviously other than Jack Noel, they haven't had uh, significant premiership experience. They're still young men. Um, and it's important that that they, they take a position in the Premiership team by grabbing it with two hands. You know, I, I want them to rip it off a senior player rather than kind of get there by default. And I think Jack did that last year. You know, he went out there and his level of performance in, in the LV in particular meant he had to play in that Premiership side. And that's what I want to see from the other guys. I want to see them demanding a spot not getting one by default because that, that's what will be exciting for them. Stuart's on record of saying, as you exactly said there, more players aren't in that Saxon squad because they haven't proved themselves in senior rugby yet. Yeah, you don't think there's going to be more chances for them this year if they do play well in the A-League? Yeah. Has Exeter Chiefs got that you know, culture in the squad? Oh, definitely. I mean, if they play well enough, you know, uh, they, and I say they, they, they demand a spot, they'll play. You know, but it, isn't, it isn't right to necessarily force a guy through because of what he's done this summer. You know, what's right is he's the form guy, uh, he deserves the shirt, and that's what maintains, you know, maintains your culture within the club. The guys are very aware of that. Every one of them wants to work hard and every, every one of them wants to de deserve a position in the team. You know, I'd much rather see, you know, uh, Henry, uh, Henry Slade, you know, demand to be the first choice because he really deserves it and it really means something. You know, the same with, same with all the players in the squad. You know, let's, let's see if they, they're prepared to go out there and demand a shot. They're, they're quality players, you know, they, they will come through at some stage, but it's going to be down to them when they come through. There's high hopes with England for Luke Cowan Dickey, of course, who moved from prop to hooker. How good do you think he, he can be? Luke, again, could be, you know, the sky's the limit for the guy as it stands at the moment. Um, but I say we've got to be a little bit patient and make sure we put him in at the right time. And, and I say primarily that's when they're on good form. You know, Luke's been a little bit unfortunate. He's picked up a, a knee injury last week in pre-season, uh, which will keep him out for a, a fair bit of time at the, at the start of this year. But, but again, a young guy who's not really had a pre-season because he's been away with England, change of position, you know, a little bit of time to have a, a quality uh, you know, conditioning time at this time of, his, time of his career at his age won't do him any harm. And, could, could significantly progress him. So, you know, there's bags of talent there. Uh, it's our job to, to mentor him through in, in the correct fashion. So what are the expectations this year for Exeter? Obviously, third season in the Premiership now. You really want to kick on that step further again, I, I guess? Yeah, I think, it's, uh, I think we're pretty realistic about what, what we want. And we're very, I think we're very good at not setting too many short-term targets. And we're comfortable with, with what we've achieved so far. We're not, we're not in any rush, you know. We're, we're knocking along at a nice pace. Um, but, you know, it's always nice to be ambitious.